Hi fellow mathematicians, this is Mr. Woods Teaches, and today we're working on fifth grade math multiply multi-digit numbers. Here's some of the math vocabulary we're going to be working with. Partial product, multiply, product, place value, standard algorithm, regrouping, multi-digit numbers, and area model. The mathematics vocabulary that we're focusing on today is area model, which is a rectangular diagram students use to find the product for multiplication or quotient for division. So this is that area model. So it has a length and a width, and we break up the numbers into their terms. So 120 and 3 for 123, and 40 plus 5 for 45. Then we determine the partial products by multiplying the numbers across and up, across and up, across and up, and across and up, so that we get these partial products. And then we add them all up to get the answer. For the partial product, it's very similar process. We're still just multiplying like our 1s right here, which is a 5 1s times 3 1s, and we get 15, and 5 1s times 20, or 2 10s, and we're going to get 100. And we have all these same numbers. If you look closely, you'll see that the partial products from the area model and the standard algorithm are, are the same. We're getting the same numbers. Look at this, 500. So it, it's just two different ways to get the same answer. First, we're going to look at the area model. It says here, find the product using the area model and partial products. Claire needs to order fertilizer to cover the soccer fields and surrounding grass. The entire grassy area is 1,125 feet long and 252 feet wide. She needs to know how many square feet the fields and surrounding grass area is so she doesn't buy too little or too much fertilizer. So when you encounter a word problem, you need to look at it, read it once, then reread it, and then read it a third time. I'm only going to do it twice. Claire needs to order fertilizer to cover the soccer fields and surrounding grass. That's a statement. It has nothing to do really with what we're trying to find. The entire grassy area grassy area. So it's telling us that it's looking at an area is 1,125 feet long. I'm going to underline that and I'm going to put L above that. So that's my length of the field and then 252 feet wide. And that's my width and I'll get to that here in a moment. She needs to know how many square feet of the fields and surrounding grass is so that she doesn't buy too little or too much fertilizer. So we're trying to find the entire area and such so that she can make a good business decision. But if you look at this length and width here, so if we look at area, this is the formula. Area is equal to length times width. All we need to do is just go, oh, wait a minute. Length is equal to 1,125. And that's in feet, so I would put FT for the abbreviation for feet, and the width is equal to 252 feet. And according to the area model, we're going to put 1,000 here, because we're breaking up the whole number there, 1,125 uh, feet, into their terms or for their place value. So that's 1,000, this is 100, and 20, and 5. And it's just like as if you're adding them up. So I'm going to do this here, just adding all of this up to make 1,125. And then for my width, which is going to be this here for this rectangle, it's 252. So again, it's 200 plus 50 plus 2. Let's clean this up. So I've cleaned it up so it looks a little bit easier to read. And we're looking at this and you know, I'm going, what are you supposed to do? Well, you're going to multiply the numbers on the left with the numbers above the column. So 1,000 times 200 is going to be 200,000. And I know that because 2 times 1 is 2, and I put that here, and then I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, zeros. See how I'm doing that? 50 times 1,000. Well, it's just 5 first. And I know it's going to be 50,000 because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, zeros. So there's my 50,000, and then 1,000 times 2, it's just 2,000, because again, I just count those zeros, and it's just 1, 2, 3, because there's no zero there with 2, okay? And I repeat that for these other numbers, 200 times 100, well, uh, 2 times 1 is 2, and then I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, which is going to make it so I have 20,000. There's 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, and I have 1, 2, 3, comma, 20,000. Same thing for the 50 times 100, I just write down 5, because 5 times 1 is 5, and then put those three zeros. I'm just counting them up. See, 1, 2, 3. And I repeat that for 
all of this. So here it'll be 200 times 20. And then here it's going to be 50 times 20. See how I'm doing that? It's just one of the things you just have to understand that there's a repetitive process. Let's take a look at this cleaned up. Much easier to read. So you can take it down like this and just add all this up or you can add it across. And it's very simple to add. So I have 1,000 plus 4, that's 5,000. Plus 20,000, that's 25,000. Plus 200,000, that's 225,000. And I just repeat that for these others. 250 plus 1,250, 6,250 plus 50,000 is 56,000. 250. Notice how I'm trying to get, keep them in their place values columns here. And then here 10 to 40, that's 50 plus 200 is 250, 2,250, so 2,250. Again, let's clean this up. All right, let's add this up. So 0 plus 0 plus 0, that's just 0. See, I'm just coming down here, 0 plus 5 and 5, that's 10, but wait, that's 100. So all I need to do is put a 0 down here. And I'm going to take this 100 above the 100's place value column. So I have 100 plus 200, that's 300, plus 2 more, that's 500. Don't have to regroup anything. I have 5,000 plus 6,000, that's going to be 11,000, plus another 2,000, that's 13,000. So I'm going to put that 3,000 here and that 10,000 above here. So I have 10,000s plus 20,000, so that's going to be 30,000 plus 50,000, that's 80,000. And then all I need to do is just say, hey, wait a minute, just bring that to you. So 283,500, let's clean that up. So we have 283,500, but is that the answer? Well, no, because number one, we don't have the, the units here. And if we have feet times feet, we're gonna have square feet. And I can abbreviate it like this, square feet, okay? but we want to say here that says she needs to know how many square feet of fields and surrounding grasses so that she doesn't buy too little or too much fertilizer. Well, let's check it out. Here I've written Claire needs enough fertilizer to cover 283,500 square feet. What we, she can do is go look at, you know, how many square feet does a, uh, a bag of fertilizer cost or if she's ordering it by the truckload how many tons of fertilizer is it going to take to cover 283,500 square feet let's move on let's read this I'm going to read it twice I recommend for you to read it three times or more so that you can have an understanding of what's needed Marquise went to the beach he needed to stake out a rectangular area of 114 meters by 63 meters for a surfing event. He was permitted for up to 7,200 square meters. Did he go over the permitted square meters? Well, let's find out. But let's take a look at this first. Uh, we're going to reread it. Marquise went to the beach. Again, that's a statement. It's not giving us any information. He needed to stake out a rectangular area. Oh, rectangular area of 114 meters by, and that usually means time, so I'm going to put an X over there so we know this, 63 meters for a surfing event. He was permitted for up to 7,200 square meters. Did he go over? And I'm going to, I'm going to box this out because this is what we're trying to find. This is the answer that we're trying to find. Did he go over? Yes or no? There's going to be math involved, but we don't have to have a number in this answer unless we word it differently. We're going to figure that out. So let's put this out here. And again, it's rectangular, so I'm going to find the area. And that's going to be equal to the length times the width. And the length is 114 meters. Okay, so I can say L equals 114 meters. And the width equals, let's see, 63 meters. And I can plug this in. I know length times width, so I'm going to come over here and write this 114. 114. Notice I'm using this grid here, to, and that's going to help me keep all of my numbers aligned by place value. So I have my ones column, tens column, hundreds column, thousands column, ten thousands column. Okay, so it's 114 times 63. Let's put this here. 63. I'm going to underline it and put my multiplication symbol here so that it's a reminder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use two different colors to make it so that you can see the partial products for this here. So the partial products, if we were just multiplying by 3, is going to be as follows. So 3 times 4 is 12. All I have to do is just write it down, 12, because it has 110 and two ones as part of 12. But wait, we have 
3 times 10. So what I want to do is I'm going to put a 0 here because I already know it's going to be a 0. You guys, 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 or 3 times 10 is 3 tens, which is 30. And then I have a 100 here. So I'm going to start out with two zeros, 1, 2. And it's just automatic that I just do that. 3 times 1 is 3, or times 100 is 3 hundreds, and that's what we have here for our partial product. Now let's concentrate on the 6. Since I know I'm already starting in the tens column here, I'm going to put a 0 here. And this is 6 times 4 is 24, but 60 times 4 is 240. So I did that. So now I'm multiplying two tens. So it's going to be a 6 tens times a 1 10. There's two zeros involved. So I'm just automatically just put those two zeros because it's that zero from the 60 and the zero from the 10. So 6 times 1 is 6. So I get 600. Now I'm going to look at this 100. I have to do the same thing with that those two. But it's not 60. So I'm going to have three zeros. And 6 is 6. So I have two ones. Yep, put that here. Let's add this up. So I have two ones. Put it right down here. 2, 1 plus 1 10 plus 3 tens is 4 tens. Plus another 4 tens is 8 tens. 3 hundreds. So let's just say 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 6 is 11. I'm going to put that, it's actually 1100. So I'll put one, you know, here we go. So 1100 there. And I just regrouped it over here. So I have 1000 plus 6000 is 7000. So 7182. Now, but is that the answer? No, we have to write down what the answer is and use the proper units. And here, the proper units is meters. And I can put this as meters squared like this. But let's see how I wrote it out. Marquise did not go over the permitted area of 7,200 square meters since the area he staked out is only 7,182 square meters, which is less than 7,200. Just note that you can go to my YouTube site and look up all kinds of math from kindergarten through eighth grade, as well as check out my book for fourth and fifth grade math, my math notes for fourth and fifth grade. Thank you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math.